welcome you all in this module of panchakarma i am dr rajkala patil head and associate professor department of panchakarma faculty of ayurveda ims bhu in today's lecture we will discuss the significance of pharma in the practice of panchakarma in the whole content of lecture is what is avastha in panchakarma what is pachana what are the medicines we give for the pachana according to the disease and avastha and what are the procedures can be practiced or indicated in the ama avastha so coming to the first question what is ama in panchakarma or in the ayurveda practice the ama is the avastha of the disease or is the causative factor which causes the disease for Be before the etiology of the many diseases, the first thing what ap- happens in the body is the origin of ama. That only leads to the further disease. So, what is this ama? Ama is ama view is very very important not only in the panchakarma practice in the ayurveda practice also. The word ama is given to the undigested food or sometimes we say it's a causative factor. and what is amavastha it's a condition of any disease or it we can say as it is a acute stage of any disease or early phase of any disease this is for just understanding in panchakarma what is the avastha or importance of avastha in panchakarma of course in mostly all the diseases can be divided into the amavastha and niramavastha so according to the avastha whole panchakarma practices increase uh, differs if it is the disease in ama avastha the practices of panchakarma will vary or the selection of every drug is changes whether it is in the uh, patient is in, in the ama avastha and if patient is in nirama avastha the everything changes and clearly it has been described in the context of jwara chikitsa so what is the rationality of avastha in panchakarma amena tena samprukta dosha dushashcha dushita sama iti upadishyante ye cha roga tadudbhava so what mixed with ama is the dosha dusha and dushita so the avastha or for the understanding of ama in panchakarma we have to understand the how this dosha is vishyated with ama or associated with ama or whether the ama is associated with the dhatu so that is we for easy understanding we understand it as a dhatu gata avastha of ama or dhatu gat ama pachana should be considered dosha pachana or dhatu gat ama pachana so what is importance of dipana pachana in panchakarma पाचने ही दीपने ही स्नेहे स्थान स्वेदेश परिष्कृता शोधयेत शोधने काले यथा सन्नम यथा बलम सो दिस इज व्हाट द सीक्वेंस ऑफ पंचकर्मा फर्स्ट वी हैव टू डू द पाचना दीपना देन स्नेहना देन स्वेदना एंड व्हेन दिस दोषा कम्स टू द परिष्कृता अवस्था और व्हेन इट कम्स टू द पाकावस्था देन ओनली वी हैव टू डू द शोधना इन द प्रॉपर टाइम यथा सन्नम यथा बलम so here the pachana in ashtanga hrudaya tika or commentary sarvanga sundar or sarvanga sundara has written like pachana is pakvatvam when dosha or the ama get pakvatvam it is called the pachana and what is mean by dipana is the dhatu prithakatvam is known as the dipana and what is snehana when the utleshana happens that is called the snehana and when it comes to the koshthagata or koshthagata tvam is called the swedana or for that we use the swedana so pakavatvam of dosha or dusha we do the pachana for dhatu prithakatvam we do the dipana for utleshanam we do snehana and for koshthagata tvam we do the swedana so what is dipana sharangdhara says pachet amam vanikrutcha matlab means which does the pachana of ama and increases the agni is called the dipana and the example is mishi and what is pachana pacheti amam na vannimcha kuriyat tadhi pachanam which only 
do the pachana of ama is called the pachana it never increases the agni so nagakesharam and chitraka nagakesharam is the pachana and chitra chitraka is the deepana pachana it do it does the both things so patient comes to the panchakarma opd and he says doctor i want to do this panchakarma it is very very difficult in the opd to convince the patient for the dipana pachana because somebody has told him to go to the panchakarma opd and get done the abhyanga or go to panchakarma opd and get done this the basti go to panchakarma opd and uh, done plan, like he will or doctor will plan for the snehap uh, vamana or virechana so there is no time for the dipana pachana for the patient so it is very difficult to convince the patient that before doing any plain abhyanga also we have to consider the dipana pachana first so when the patient comes to my opd i ask him ma'am somebody refer us for the panchakarma then i told okay first take this medicine for 7 to 10 days then we will start the panchakarma no ma'am the doctor told like on the first day you will start the panchakarma so the it is very difficult to convince the patient for the deepana pachana it is the toughest part in the panchakarma practices because mostly i don't know how the uh, panchakarma physicians or the practitioners who are who are doing online panchakarma practices how they do the all this assessment or deepana pachana i do i am not aware of that or in keralaya panchakarma of course there are no any word like keralaya panchakarma that are the just upakarmas which are practiced in kerala they are known as keralaya upakrama not panchakarma and I mean in online we will find out that in one month they have the panchakarma packages there there is no consideration of amavastha or niramavastha is there in the practice so assessment of dipana pachana very clearly ashtangur deya has mentioned how to assess when to start the sneha or when to start the panchakarma he says vimale indriyata sargo malana mal laghavam ruchihi shutru sahodaya if patient patient should get the shudha and trishna at a time shuddha udgar after taking food he should get the proper or fresh belging and vadi mardav he should get the disease should be softened or disease should disease symptom should come down utsaha he should feel fresh tandra nashas chalangite and the tandra or anxiety sorry or uh, heaviness should be come down that is the lakshana of proper langana and when we get this symptoms then only we can understand that this patient is indicated for the snehapana or he can start the any kind of local panchakarma also so how coming to the clinical assessment of patient how to assess question how usually what we do in our panchakarma practice or in our opd like we ask the patient how are you feeling if patient is feel patient tells you no know, i am feeling lightness of course he the dipana pachana is going in a right way how is appetite if patient say no appetite is same as previous or it is there is no change that is that means dipana pachana is not doing proper work so we have to continue the treatment or dipana pachana continue langana for the some more days any change in the diet if we are doing dipana pachana and patient is taking two chapatis in the morning two chapatis in the afternoon one chapati in the evening there is no change in the diet means our dipana pachana is not working if patient says i previously i was taking two chapatis and now i need three chapati in the morning four chapati in the afternoon that means it is proper agni dipana has happened <coughs> how is consistency of stool many times this symptom will tell us the where patient stands or where dipana pachana stands if the constipation is there that means there is no dipana pachana proper mala nisarana with soft stool is happening that means it's a proper langana is happening and when it starts having more constipated then again the langana has been increased or it is going to the more rukshana size side so it should be every time it should be assessed like how is the stool consistency any changes in disease features of course the disease vadhi mardavatva should happen during dipana pachana only if this is not happening means 
the pro selection of drug for dipana pachana has been uh, mistaken has been taken mistaken that should be understood by a physician atilanghana lakshana indication like patient's appetite decreases patient starts feeling constipation patient start feeling lethargy these are the symptoms of atilanghana lakshana that should not come during dipana pachana days and with the tongue examination we can objective this is the objective parameter for the proper dipana pachana if tongue shows like there is the samavastha of course we have to continue the pachana again and if tongue says it's a niramavastha and we are not getting symptoms we can continue the medicine for some one two days and then we can stop so this is again a mirror for the assessment of samata duration of dipana pachana it may vary according to the disease in some if the disease of kapha pradhanta or like uh, medo roga or stholya or hypercholesteremia it may take more days if the disease of vat vata shonita or some disease like juvara it may get early pachana if the patient is of vata prakriti of course it may take some time and if the patient is of pitta prakriti dipana pachana takes very short period and kala if it is a shita kala it may take more time if it's a summer season it may take less time desha in sadharan desha it will take less time in anupadesha it may take more time and it in madhyam desha or in sadharan desha it will be in between the time if agni is krura or if agni is tikshna agni that will take less time if agni is manda then it will be it take more times according to dosha also if kapha dosha is involved dipana pachana will take more days and pitta is involved or vata pitta is involved it will take less time bala is also same way if bala is patient is balwan it may take more time for the pachana if bala is less it will take less time in the same way vaya also so how the avastha prithak vidha is told in the shastra like dusham desham balam kalam analam prakriti vaya satvam satmam तथा आहारम अवस्थाश पृथक विदा सूक्ष्म सूक्ष्मा समीक्षेशा समीक्षेशा दोष औषध निरूपणे ही मीन्स द अवस्था हैज टू बी अंडरस्टैंड बिफोर प्लैनिंग एनी पंचकर्मा बिकॉज इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द असेसमेंट इन पंचकर्मा सो ड्यूरेशन ऑफ पाचना दीपना मे वैरी अकॉर्डिंग टू द डिज ऑल्सो ऑलरेडी वी डिस्कस इन सौल्या इट मे टेक थ्री टू अवर्स अप्रोक्सिम इट्स वॉट इज रिटर्न इज द अप्रोक्सिमेट वॉट within 20 years of my practice panchakarma practice what i learned that's what i have written here it's it, there is no classical reference for this but it usually it happens in stholya it take 3 weeks in vata shonita it may take 2 to 3 weeks in sandigat vata 7 to 10 days only sharad ritu 4 to 8 days kushta shofa prameha more rukshana is needed in these diseases pancreatitis we have to be very careful because as in pancreatitis small increase in pachana will leads to the acute attack so we have to be very careful in such diseases where we are doing the dipana pachana and of course for such diseases the choice of drug for dipana pachana should not be katu pachana it should be tikta pachana in ild it may take long duration when ild associated with vata shonita or rheumatoid arthritis it may take again long duration duration always approximately till getting the samyak langhan lakshana or nirama avastha the medicines also it vary sometimes we use agni tundi vati chitrakadi vati trikatu churna hingvashtak churna when there is constipation is there we will go for a constipation with agni mandya we will go for the chitrakadi vati or trikatu churna when there is loose stool or soft stool or muc stool with mucus with agni mandya we will go for the hingvashtak or shardhar vaishwanar churna and when there is kapha and pitta is involved we will go for shivakshar pachan churna if mostly pitta is involved we will go for musta churna or guruji harita ki shunti or amrutottaram kashay like that so kotha according to the dosha in vata vikara we will go for rasnadi or nagradi churna in pitta predominance we will go for patoladi mahatikta kashay manjishtadi kashay nimbadi kashay in kapha vikaras we will go for trifaladi maha manjishtadi kotha in my op opinion medicated water with musta shunthi or jeera or dhanya ka according to the dosha will enhance the dipana pachana procedure in the patients 
what if pachana not done properly what uh, we have seen like uh, if we start sneha pana without proper dipana pachana we will get the failure at any time during sneha pana or before panchakarma or during the panchakarma or after the panchakarma at any time we may get failure if pachana is not done properly and the complications like SGOT or SGPT will increase. Last, uh, I think before two years, one principal of uh, KV, he, he, we planned Virechana for his daughter and she got SGOT, SGPT, more SGOT, SGPT during the Panchakarma and then I, I asked what happened and we came to know that during Snehapana, before getting proper uh, rukshan lakshana, they started the snehapana. Or many times fever also get because as ama is there, so that may and we are giving the snehapana in the high dose, that may leads to the fever also. Abhenga in ama vasta, of course, the jwara is a routine uh, complication, what, complication what we get and the treatment is takra, takrapana or udvatana. If we get pravahika, many, stu many students who are coming for the ma'am, we want to do panchakarma and they are not following or they are not following the dipanapachana diet because it is very, it's not possible in hostel life. So there we get the pravahika during snehapana. Migraine attacks, it usually it aggravates during the snehapana if dipanapachana is not done properly. And if it is done properly, we won't get any migraine attack during the snehapana. In sandhigatvata, pain increases, might be in Sandhigatvata, ankylosing spondylosis, SLE, rheumatoid arthritis. If Dipanapachana is not done properly or the choice of sneha is not proper, the pain will increase or stiffness will increase. In Shodhana complication, routinely with uh, foreign students, we get complications because the Dipanapachana was usually not done properly or the assessment before Snehapana is not done properly. So, Atisara in Snehapana, Ayoga of Virechana or Atiyoga of Virechana, these are the common complications we get if we are not aware of the proper Amavastha or Niramavastha. In Kushta, oozing and itching will increase during Snehapana. Amasneha Lakshana will find or if we take the Amasneha, this oozing and itching will increase. So, that is why usually for Kushta, we prescribe the medicated Sneha for the Snehapana. And my clinical experience says that for Kushta, if we are doing Shodhana also, medicated Girita should be used. Basti Namavastha, of course, there will be complications. Uh, I remember one patient who is actually B27 positive, positive and we planned the Basti. The Pachana was not done properly and she started feeling the severe stiffness and the sciatica-like pain during Basti. So, this all happened. Then many patient of CRF or PCOD, they get irregularity of menses persist because of the proper pachana not done before snehapana. TSH, if TSH is done or in amavastha or in pachana is not properly, the TSH will not come to the normal after shodhana also. So there will not be no result if pachana is not done first properly. Let us discuss where Panchakarma advised in Amavastha. So, in Jwara, Amavastha of Jwara, where there is Yathokta Amavasthayam, the condition is Kapha Pradhan Utlishtan. So, so, predominant should be Kapha, Dosha should be in Amash Utlishtavastha, and it should be situated in the Amashaya Sthitan or in the Amashaya. In such cases, in such Jwara, the Vamana or Sadya Vamana, where there is Neha Svedo Na Kriyate, Alpo Va Kriyate should be done. That is the reference for Sadya Vamana in Jwara and that is the Avastha. And in next shloka, it has been written like Sarva Deha Pravistrutan Saman Dosha Na Nirharet, Linan Dhatushu Anutlishtan Falad Amad Rasaniva Ashrayasse Hi Nashaya Tehe Suhu Dur Nirharatvam. So, what is written here? Of course, before this slide, what we have seen, like this is the condition where in the Amavastha Sadhya Vamana is indicated, 
and in next condition it is told like whenever their dosha is in amavastha or in the samavastha it should not be nirharet because it may be lead into the lena lena dhatu avastha or like how we take the kachcha uh, aam or how we take the non ripen fruit and we try to take juice from it it is very difficult to take the juice from the non ripen fruit and in in such cases the fruit will fi finish his integrity that that is what is told in the same manner when the dosha is in amavastha or if it is not in the pakva vastha it should not be removed that should be avoided complications of vamana in taruna jwara if vamana is done in taruna jwara so what is the condition anupasthita dosha naam if the doshas it is not upasthita what was the condition previously where they told to do the sadhya vamana dosha should be should be upasthita dosha it should be in pakvashaya sorry amashaya and it should be utlishta dosha and when it is not upasthita dosha and if it is taruna jwara and we are doing vamana that may leads to the heart disease shwasa anaha moha sarva deha anusar sarva deha anuga sama dhatusta asunirhara means this is what they told to avoid the panchakarma in amavastha what are the procedures for amavastha here are some procedures which can be practiced in amavastha also not all the procedures so procedures like kashaya dhara ruksha sveda valuka sveda lavan sveda dhanyam dhara that can be practiced in amavastha also and there is no it is not according to the disease it is according to the avastha according to the dosha predominance so lepa without sneha jadamaya di lepa dashanga lepa kottam chukadi lepa can be apply if there is amavastha also udvartana with kottam chukadi churna trifala churna java or bajra or जुआर और सौरगम उद्वर्तना कैन बी प्रैक्टिस्ड इन आमावस्था ऑफ एनी कंडीशन लोकल धारा एंड पिचू विथ सेंधवादी तैला बृहद सेंधवादी तैला और मुरविन्ना कैन बी प्रैक्टिस द कंसेप्ट ऑफ वृक्ष बस्ती लाइक सेम अम्लिका अम्लिका गुड़ा गोमूत्र सेंधवा एरेंडा स्नेहा भुक्ते अपिच देयम सो वैतरण आल्सो इज द पलशुक्ति कर्षक कुड़वे ही गोमूत्र सिंधु जन्मे ही शूल आमवात आना हरा सो दैट इज द आमवात हरा इज द बस्ती दैट कैन बी प्रैक्टिस इन आमावस्था आल्सो सो तक्रधारा और शिरोधारा शिरोधारा विद कषाया और तक्रा कैन बी प्रैक्टिस इन आमावस्था आल्सो डिसीज इज अवस्था एंड पंचकर्मा इन वात शोणिता इफ देर इज आमावस्था वी कैन गो फॉर तिक्तधारा वी कैन गो फॉर वैतरण बस्ती लवण स्वेदा पत्रपिंड स्वेदा विदाउट ऑइल और विद बृहसेंधवादी ऑइल चूर्ण पिंड श्वेता विथ कोलोकुल चूर्ण कैन बी प्रैक्टिस एंड वेन दिस वात श्रोणिता कम्स इन टू द निरामावस्था वी कैन गो फॉर दुग्ध धारा गुड़चादी क्षीरवस्ती विरेचना और यापन बस्ती इज इन द सेम वे इन कुष्टा वेन कुष्टा इज इन आमावस्था और वेट एक्जिमा वी कैन गो फॉर अवचूर्णना कषाय धारा और वृक्ष विरेचना वेन इट कम्स इन टू द निरामावस्था वील गो फॉर स्नेहपाना लोकल अप्लीकेशन ऑफ स्नेह और क्रीम तक्रधारा और यापन बस्ती of course no anuvasara in nirama avastha also jwara when jwara is in nirama avastha we can go for kashaya pana ruksha sveda and vamana and when it comes to the nirama avastha we can go for virechana sneha pana basti and anuvasan basti in sandhigat vata also or osteoarthritis if it is if the condition is in nirama avastha we can go for we can go for dhara dhara with kashaya or dhanyamla or uh fruit vinegar we can use for the dhara pijil with kwatha or kaya seka with kashaya can be done lepa can be done and in nirama avastha the procedures like dhara with oil anuvasana basti yoga basti or mrudu vich mrudu virechana can be practiced in pakshagata also if pakshagata again is of two types hemorrhagic or infarctive when hemorrhagic is concerned pitta and vata is involved and infarctive it's a kapha and vata is involved for the understanding and if it is amavastha pijijil with dhanyamla kwatha dhanyamla or kwatha can be practiced and procedure like udvartana koshta shuddhi can be done and in niramavastha virechana basti pijijil with pijijil with taila shirodhara with taila 
milk and talapodachil can be practiced. These are the procedures according to the disease. In chronic renal failure, no sneha at any time, rukshavirechana, shodhana basti or yapana basti can be practiced. Pakshaghata in coma case, in amavastha, shunthi vacha jalanasya can be practiced, pradhamanasya vitrikatu or shadabindu tailanasya can be given. If it is in niramavastha, anutaila or panchendriya taila can be used for the nasya. Uh, from this procedure uh, or PPT, the, what is the take home message is understand the ama before planning the panchakarma. Specific avastha of the disease is very very important for practice of panchakarma. Dosha avastha in particular disease is also very very impor important to understand the or to, to select the choice of medicines or herb, herbs. Most important is clinical assessment of nirama avastha. This is the key for the success in panchakarma. With this, thank you all for listening or for listening this Panchakarma series. <music>